Hey everybody and welcome back. Today is Tunisian Thursday and I thought I would share with you what I am working on. If you've seen my video yesterday, you know that I have finished the shawl. Major big project. Uh, lots of interesting things happened with that. If you haven't watched that video, go back and check it out because I tell you what all happened. But I also told you that I was working on or was going to start, no, actually I was working on the uh, Geo Scarf. I mean, this right here, this is a free pattern at crochetkim.com. I will put a link to this down in the description if you want to go check that out. I've wanted to do this for a while. I've started it a couple times and it was totally not making sense to me. So I would put it away and get it out and try again. But now that I'm a little more experienced with Tunisian crochet, I decided to give it a go again. I am still using this Red Heart uh, Favorite Stripes. This is still, you know, what's left. And last night in my video, or yesterday in my video, I said it was, I started out with this double-ended hook and I only put 25 stitches on instead of 35 like the pattern calls for because I can only fit about that many stitches on this hook comfortably. And I also said that I was going to uh, switch over to a longer hook. I did that for a couple of rows and decided it was too much work. <laughs> so I went back to my double-ended hook. This is what I have so far. Now I will tell you there is definitely, it looks wonky, but trust me, it's, it's straight, okay? <laughs> there is definitely a lot going on with this scarf and the way the colors are striping. I believe Kim used a different kind of yarn, obviously, but hers looks a little more normal. Mine is just looking pretty wild. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, work on this some more. It is a combination of the Tunisian reverse stitch and the Tunisian knit stitch. You do the reverse stitch on the first half and you do the knit stitch on the second half. That's what the back of it looks like so far. Lays a little flatter on the back. So you can really see the wonky color combinations of this as it <laughs> is going along. I think it'll be cute and fun and definitely something that anybody would probably enjoy wearing. So I'm going to stick my hook in and get back to work on this. Hopefully I don't forget what I figured out last night so far. And yeah, make sure you let me know down in the comments what you're working on and I will see you next week sometime in my next video.